Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at Blend for Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can download and install it. We will also look at how we can create our first project inside the Blend. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Blend for Visual Studio helps you design a XAML based Windows and web applications. It provides the same basic XAML design experience as Visual Studio and adds visual designers for advanced tasks such as animations and behaviors. So Blend for Visual Studio is a component of Visual Studio. So to install, obviously we need to get our Visual Studio installer opened. So as you can see on the screen, I've got my Visual Studio installer opened, yeah? So to do that, as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022. It's an enterprise, but it doesn't really matter if you've got the professional or the community version. So we click on the modify. So here, this, this are, these are the applications that obviously this application that you can select here to be able to install that blend for visual studio so if we select like um universal windows platform development so let's click on that so this if we look inside here so we've got the selected blend for visual studio so we we get that as an option yeah so as you as you can see it's, it's included as an optional component right so once you install the universal windows platform you get the blend for visual studio installed yeah so if you haven't installed the universal windows platform on your, on your visual studio then i suggest you do so so you can um, select this bit here and it will be actually installed so once you select it once you select it you come you click here modify and the whole everything will be installed but I think I've actually installed that already so there's no need for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the inst installer so you have to do that before you come to the next stage so if you've actually installed it so you can just go inside your your Windows search and then type in blend so as you can see here now I've got a um, blend for Visual Studio 2022 so let's click on it so as you can see, we've got our blend for Visual Studio opening. Okay, so this is what you get. Once you're actually opening for the first time, you might be prompted to obviously add your, I mean, to enter your Microsoft email address and whatnot. But obviously, you can go through that or you can choose not to. So it's entirely up to you. So let's look at what type of projects that we can create or I currently have. So currently, um, I don't have a um, UWP installed, but obviously I can create a WPF application on the blend. So let's actually create this for this example. Let's create a WPF, C Sharp WPF application. So we click on the next, and obviously here we can configure our project details, but this is not really necessary for this video. So we go next. Then obviously here we can select what .NET framework that we want to use, but we're just going to um, leave it as it is, yeah? So we're just going to create. Okay, so this is the error that I get. So, so the visual I mean the visual studio XML editor package did not load correctly so the problem may have been caused by configuration so I'm just gonna um, we're just gonna click here as for now so let's wait and see what actually happened so now we actually get in the XAML loading so basically this is what we actually get for the Blend for Visual Studio 2022. If you've not been using Blend before, as you can see, it's very similar to Visual Studio. So 
this is mostly for a design side so this is the two panel i'm going to talk briefly about the two panel so uh, you can use the two the tools panel in blend for visual studio these ones yeah to create and modify objects in your applications so the tools panel appears on the left the left side here of your xaml of your xaml um, designer so this is actually your xaml designer so here you've got a couple of um, tools that you can select you can expand it here then you can have access to all the controls if you want to use them you can select button so you can drag it and drop it as usual yeah so here obviously you can get your yeah um, here you can have your your design program I mean the object properties here so here you can select it um, ob your object properties here like um, the, the background color and the width of text and whatnot yeah you can also um, you double once you double click it obviously you can double click to handle the event side but we'll look at that later on yeah so what we do next is I'm um, you can also easily transition from your blend for visual studio into a visual studio so but you can right click the project right and then um, Um, you go, you go, come if you come down here you can see um, edit in the visual studio so you can you can click on this bit here so the project will be opened in visual studio so as you can see we've got the project open in this so let's actually put them side by side here so as you can see here now if you've not been if you've not used um, blend for visual studio before so this is actually what you get so i'm just going to close that bit here so here obviously you can also open it here i'm just going to i'm just trying to show you how you they can easily uh, you can easily transition whatever changes that you make inside your blend to your visual studio yeah so as you can see here now let's go ahead here yeah. And save up then click on the Visual Studio here so as you can see we've got a button appeared right so whatever changes that we make here will, will be reflected directly here yeah so if we actually click on the double click here And change the name to login and then change make the width a bit bigger yeah so let's go ahead and save it so let's come inside here so as you can see here now we've got that changes reflected straight away and we've got the name changed here as well on the code side yeah so i'm just going to leave it here so i will make uh, more videos on this topic here yeah, later on so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up yeah and i hope this actually helped you to get started with blend for visual studio so once again i'll leave here and peace